Hey, welcome back friends. As you can see, I'm in the truck, so I'm not gonna be looking at the camera very much, but today I'm doing something that I've never done before, and that is towing just to tow. So a lot of you realize that I put a lot of miles on the hitches that I test, and uh, yeah, it takes me a while to do that because I put those miles on while I'm we're going camping. And we're just weekenders, so you know, sometimes it takes a while to get the miles on. But a couple of things. One, I've got a very windy day today. It's a great day to test a hitch. I could not resist. I have to, we've got wind advisories, uh, 15 to 20 mile, mile an hour sustained winds, uh, 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts. So today's a good day to really put this B&W hitch to the test. And two, I've got a lot of you who are really, really sincerely waiting on me to give you the full review on this B&W hitch before. A lot of you are just trying to decide whether or not to go with B&W or Waysafe. We know the Waysafe's a good choice. Uh, I can certainly recommend that one. Uh, B&W is looking good too. So we'll see today. We'll get a really good test of how it does in the wind. But today I'm just going to tow to tow. I'm going to um, I'm going to get out on the interstate here. We've got a four lane that's basically an interstate. I should hook up with a couple of tractor trailers and I'm going to put about, I don't know, 40 to 50 miles on it today. And I'll just keep you stay, I'll just keep you updated as we go. Shouldn't be a very long video. It's kind of pretty much straight to the point, but uh, hopefully uh, we won't see much sway. We won't see much going on. I know I've encountered these conditions with a way safe before multiple times actually, and it does great. It's still just like it's on train tracks. But uh, we'll see about the B&W. I know a lot of you are questioning whether or not the B&W has that good a sway control considering it doesn't have the spring bars, it doesn't have the saddles and all that good stuff. So we will find out today. We will certainly find out today. Uh, yeah, hope you stick around. Today's video is brought to you by RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding brand. So our family has enjoyed RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding's mattresses for over a year now. We love them and we're confident you will as well. This particular model is called the Dream Foam Essential, which just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort, making it the perfect mattress on the road. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, you get a 120 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. Each mattress is made right here in the good old USA and ships from their warehouse in Arizona. For our family, the RV is our place to recharge for the next day. So a comfortable night's rest is important, not just for mom and dad, but for the kids too. Thank you RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Go visit rvmattress.com slash wondering and use code wondering to get 20% off your new RV mattress. Hey friends, just going to tap the brakes right quick and let you know that our code wondering now saves you 25%. So thank you RVMattress.com for a little bit of extra savings. Now let's hop back into today's video. All right, here we go guys. So you see, we got a couple of tractor trailers here. So we, you know, we should definitely get a, uh, some tractor trailer action. And the truck itself was getting blown around a little bit. So um, yeah, those 40 mile an hour gusts don't play around. So we'll see what we get getting out on this four lane highway. Um, I'll get up to speed here in a second and see how we do just right off the bat. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just report back. If anything crazy happens, uh, I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time with for you guys. But I'll show you what I'm looking at right here. And so I'm just watching the trailer and seeing what it does, mainly the back end of the trailer. So now if, if we're in a way safe right now, this thing's on train tracks. And that bike back end might move an inch every once in a while maybe very rarely in these conditions uh without these conditions it's it's, it's on freight it's like a freight train with this uh b and w we'll have to see so i'm watching it right now it's it's moving a little bit but it seems to be controlled you know you can see that back end bumping around some i'll try to, let me see if i can move you back here a little bit i gotta worry about the road more than you guys no offense but uh, there was a good gush right there. So yeah, nothing, nothing so far, nothing really so far. A little bump right in the beginning, but I'm at 65 right now. So this is a good sign. But yeah, let's let's uh, let's travel down the road see if we can get some really good gusts and a couple of tractor trailers. You know, it's kind of interesting here in Georgia. We've had uh, we've had two or three good days. It's supposed to have another good day of wind, um, and so. 
what that is is it's actually there's a high pressure system in Louisiana a low pressure system in the Great Lakes and it's got like this swirl effect you kind of see it there on the screen so yeah we're getting some really good winds today and I can feel it um, but it's not a white knuckle experience at all so far and I, I can already tell you that this is going to be better this BMW in this these conditions is going to be better than the Anderson uh, of course it's better than the Blue Ox products and uh, better than the Anderson for sway control better than the Kurt even maybe for sway control I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence about the equalizer right now that's really what it's up against right now it's going to be the equalizer in the sway control department because the equalizer is pretty good I'm not sure if it's going to match up to the way safe just based on what I've felt already today um, it's, it's really good though I, I don't mean to We'll just have to see. I, I think it's uh, now hooking it up. I'll have to do uh, a video on that when we do the full review on this hitch. Today we're just towing and, and getting uh, some miles on it. But uh, when I do the full review on this hitch, we will. Sh I'll show you how to hook it up. Today was very easy to hook up. Uh, you put a little bit what how I had to do it today because uh, they're not real clear on whether or not to add a little resistance on the um, once you get the ball in place. And when, once you get it locked into the coupler, you know, a lot of these hitches, you have to then jack your hitch back up, take all of the, the weight off of the hitch with the jack, and then install your bars, and then, um, you know, and then release all of the pressure back onto the bars from the uh, electric tongue jack. Well, today, I only had to put a little bit of pressure on the, uh, on the jack, and this, that contraption, the the spring bars, I guess, these composite spring bars that they're using, it just slid right into the hitch. So that was very good. That's very similar to like an Anderson, uh, as easy as the Anderson is to hook up. So this is a very, looks to like it's going to be a very easy hitch to hook up. Now, what we have to do, uh, I'll have to try to get an angle here or there and see how that works. But uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty easy to hook up. So far today, um, We've been about probably about 10 miles, I guess, and this is a this has this definitely has sway control. So those folks that uh, are concerned about whether or not it has sway control, yes, 100% it has some sway control. One thing I noticed as I'm hooking up consistently now, this is about the fourth or fifth time I've hooked this thing up, is every time I have to put pressure on that hydraulic system. I have to overpressurize it by about 200 pounds, uh, and then it settles out into the pressure I need. So it actually it'll lose the gauge. Like for example, I need 1750 psi on that gauge, and so I have to take it to about 1950, and then uh, and then within a, a minute, not even a minute, within about 30 seconds, it settles into about 1750, and then we'll see if it stays there. So that's that's the biggest concern with this hitch is, is folks worrying about this hydraulic system. If it fails, you're just basically without a hitch. Um, if it leaks, you're going to slowly lose your weight distribution. And all that's very true, but I do know, you know, hydraulics are used on heavy equipment, farm equipment, and they last for years many times. So we'll have to see. Uh, what I can already say based on its performance is I'm not going to be in a hurry to go back to the way safe. So I'm going to leave it on this one and the next prototype. So the next prototype will be a... Um, we'll have to see. I'm not sure about that. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that to y'all. But uh, yeah, the next one will be a big a big girl. And I'm going to leave this on. I'm going to keep running this hitch in that setup too. So we'll, we're really going to do uh, do a number in testing this hitch, which we did that to the Waysafe last year too. If you don't remember... Um, I actually strapped the Waysafe on to the 3210 last year, and that was a 37-footer, and it was still rock solid. I couldn't tell any difference from the 30-footer. So, um, yeah, right at this point, the reason I'm bringing that Waysafe so much with this BMW is a lot of you are I get a ton of comments saying, hey, it's my opinion, talking about me, uh, you're waiting on my opinion to choose between BMW and Waysafe. And uh, 
So that's why I'm bringing up the way safe a lot. That's the comparison. It seems to be the comparison right now. And really, probably, I would say that's easily the two uh, technological, I can't say that word, technological, I really can't say that word, technologically advanced hitches on the market right now, I would I would think, uh, taking away the ProPride, of course, uh, oh, that's a whole different set of technology there. But uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm here in uh, near Athens, Georgia, and I've got an area I'm going to take a little kind of like a wide U-turn and get on another four lane. Um, if you notice, I'm slowing down, get on another four lane and hopefully see a couple more tractor trailers on that one. But uh, but yeah, I would say this BNW and the Waysafe products are the uh, top tech with hitches right now. Take away ProPride because you know ProPride's in its own four thousand dollar category. But um, I, I think a lot of you are waiting on that, and so that's why I'm bringing up making so many comparisons to the Waysafe specifically. Right now, like I said, it's going to be probably higher up than middle on sway control porpoising it does really well it's going to be uh, right there with with way safe and, and uh, equalizer does great on porpoising too so it's going to be one of the better performing hitches with porpoising uh, obviously not going to get it in the mountains today but uh, tractor trailers and high winds will definitely knock that out some of that out today and i'm still going to put more miles on it you know i know you guys you're not impatient, but you do need have decisions to make. And so when you message me and say, hey, when are you going to finish reviewing that thing? The answer to that is, I don't know. That is the goal of today is to get that date closer to uh, to reality, is to put some more miles on it. Um, but when I'll finish it, I'm hoping early June. I'm hoping, uh, I should say mid-June. So we have a, a trip that first week of June, and um, hopefully that'll get a few more conditions knocked out. We'll get some curvy roads on that one. I don't know why it wouldn't do well, though. I mean, I think most of them do fine on curvy roads. The, the Pro Pride, the reason I do curvy roads is the Pro Pride is, has a weird shift. When you're in, in the mountains with the Pro Pride, because of how it's built, uh, the, the, your entire unit will shift if you go around a curve, um, sh a sharp enough curve, at an adequate speed, you know, the, the momentum of the trailer will make the whole hitch shift right or left. And when, if you don't know what it is, it'll freak you out a little bit the first time it happens. You're kind of like, whoa, what in the heck was that? So, um, yeah, there, and any, any pro pride owner will tell you if they've been in the mountains, they've experienced it. But once you know what it is, it, it's, it's not that big a deal. It doesn't, I don't think it puts you in any type of danger. Um, you know, it just, your trailer shifts because your hitch shift shifted. And so, um, so really all the other ones perform fine in the mountains. You really can't get going fast enough in the mountains to really get worried about it. So, uh, and I apologize again for not looking at the camera, but, uh, I don't want to crash. And so my main concern is paying attention to the road. And I'm sure you all can appreciate that. Hey, another one, another thing I want to, and I'm, I'm just talking to you guys right now. Um, the, I guess this is almost like a vlog today, isn't it? I don't really vlog that much, but uh, I guess that's what today is. Um, I do appreciate you guys. You know, if you, you'll notice on some of these videos that uh, we have commercials that we've we've accepted some sponsors, and uh, I say some sponsors. We've got one official channel sponsor right now, uh, and that is Brooklyn Betting. And I appreciate you guys. You know, hanging out throughout that commercial. I would love to do this YouTube thing full time. Not at that point yet, where I'm still. It's most time. It is my most time job. But, um, but yeah, I would love to be able to do it full time one day. And, and quite frankly, without folks like Brooklyn Betting, that's hard to do. All right. So I noticed we're getting pushed around a little bit. So I'm gonna start paying attention to this. We're up to speed. We're back up to 45. I'm gonna show, put you right on the mirror here. Show you what I'm seeing. I gotta hit the camera, the, the screen. There we go. And I'm gonna kinda just hang you out right here for a minute. And see what we get. Uh, like I said, today says sustained winds 15 to 20 miles an hour. Uh, gusts up 35, 40 miles an hour. And uh, you can see a little movement right there. You see that? Now here's what I'm gonna tell you. You don't get that with the way safe, really. 
that you don't get that with a way safe. Okay, so you can really see that the hitch is doing its job here, uh, but it's still allowing a little bit of sway. And uh, and yeah, so this is going to be about on par with an equalizer. Um, maybe even, it's probably still better than the Kurt and the Anderson, but uh, yeah, right there with the equalizer. And not quite with uh, way safe. You usually won't see this much sway with a way safe hitch. So it's doing a good job. Windy day, but yeah, there we go. So BMW is, i got to knock it down a, a notch from way safe now. Uh, it was, it was pretty close. I was, I was like, okay, um, but you're not going to get that with Waysafe. You're going to get that with Equalizer. You're going to get that with, um, you're definitely going to get that with Anderson. Now, something like that to me is not white knuckling. That's not something that's scary or, you know, I'm sitting in a truck, you know, Brooke is probably going to feel that and know it's back there, but it's not something that worries her either. And it's not something that worries me. It's just something to, you know, it reminds you it's back there. You take a look. Okay, we're good. And I'm going 66, 67. Let's see how this truck does passing. Oh, that was fine. And uh, I'm doing 65. These guys are just in a hurry. But you can see how it's rolling. So yeah, there you go. Well, that's kind of answers my question right there. I, I thought it, we would either find out early, in which we did. We found out pretty early in this. I mean, I'm only 15. I'm not even 20 miles into this yet. And uh, yeah, there you go. So uh, B&W is not going to hang with Waysafe in the sway category, but it does good. It does good, just not great. And um, I, I'll rank it um, just in sway today I'm going to rank it and but I think overall as a hitch it's going to rank better than most of the hitches we've dealt with I can tell you just from the ease of hookup that's a big deal okay we've got a tractor trailer here so um, now I, what I've found is a little bit of push but uh, yeah nothing we're not wobbling around back there so um, what I have found is overtaking a tractor trailer gives you less truck suck than uh, being overtaken by a tractor trailer. So um, yeah, you, I don't get a true, I need one to come past me right quick. And I'm not gonna play games and just slow down so he'll pass me. I don't know, I don't believe in doing that, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think I've, I, I was gonna put about 50 miles on it today and I still probably gonna put some good miles on it today, but I, I think I'm going to end the video here and just say that um, the B&W does have good sway control. Uh, you know, if I'm giving it a 1 to 10, you know, a pro pride on sway control is going to be a 10, a way safe is going to be a 9.8, 9.9. Yes, it is that close to pro pride in my opinion. Technically, pro pride takes the, takes the win there, but barely. And, uh, and this one's going to be, I'm going to say around an eight on, um, if I'm just doing one to 10, now don't compare this to the, to the hitch battle. I'll have to go back and, and do that and look and see how I rank those. But, uh, just, this is just off the cuff right here, me talking. So I'm going to go, the, I'm going to go 8.2, you know, I don't want to give a, a Dave Portnoy rookie score of a, of an even number. So I'll go 8.2 on sway control for the BMW, uh, 9.9. On the way safe, and then uh, and then the, and then the pro pride does get a ten because it does eliminate all sway, so it gets a ten. But there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, uh, you know, I am doing my best, as you can see, to get some miles on this thing and try to get you guys some clearer answers. And uh, I hope this helps. I hope this helps in your decision. Again, this is not the final review, but I just wanted to. You know, maybe this will help you. Uh, maybe this is enough. To, uh, to make your decision for you whether or not you want to go uh, one way or the other. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, in my opinion, right now from what I'm seeing, the BMW doesn't quite match up to the way safe in the sway category. Uh, but we'll see how it does those overalls a hitch once we've lived it with it and uh, see how it does with trucks. Still haven't got a good truck situation yet. so um, And how it is to live with. All that good stuff. But um, yeah, this, this I really just did this video because we're having so many questions 
uh, regarding the sway control on this hitch. And yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Not the best, but pretty good. So hope you guys are good. See ya. All right, guys, I set the camera down and I thought to myself, you know, I really need to make it clear that for these conditions, this has been a very comfortable tow. You know, you have to understand, I'm looking for issues. I'm looking for something to go wrong. I'm looking for those little bumps. Um, as far as, you know, in these conditions with 40 mile an hour gusts, this hitch has done a great job. I just want to be real clear about that. Um, or a very, very good job. There are, yes, I do think there are two hitches that outperform it uh, right now in the Pro Pride and the Way Safe. But uh, this is, I got to be maybe tied with the TR3 for third. Um, between the, the Waysafe products, you know, I, I did two Waysafes, so, uh, but I just wanted to be clear about that. I, you know, this is a very, very, so far, a very, very good hitch. I, I don't want it to sound too harsh towards BMW. It is not. This has been, for these conditions, a very comfortable tow. And if I was in a Blue Ox right now, I, I would be white knuckling. I would, read, I couldn't wait to get it back home. I can, I can tell you that for certainty, uh, because I've been in these conditions with the Blue Ox and it is not fun. And, um, and so, yeah, I, I just want to make that clear before I ended this video. I, I didn't want to, I felt like I ended it kind of in a negative fashion. And I don't, I don't mean to do that at all. I'm just trying to give you guys the best uh, objective, or it's, it's all subjective, I guess, but uh, the best experience, explain myself the best I can. It's hard, it, that's hard to explain in itself, you know what I mean? But, um, so yeah, anyway, I just wanted to make that clear before I ended this video. This has been a very comfortable do tow for these conditions. If you're under normal conditions, you know, AKA less than 40 mile an hour gusts, uh, you're gonna be on train tracks with this one as well. I just wanna be clear about that. I just I just felt like, especially that one specific spot where we got a little bit of bump side to side, um, I, I have not experienced that with Waysafe. And the, the difference would be uh, the way safe would correct that after the one bump with this one it was a it was a it was a, you know we got three four five little bump 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 and nothing uncomfortable nothing nothing that would cause concern for me if I had bought this hitch and that happened to me I would not be upset at all I would be like wow it looks like it's really working back there and it is it's doing its job it's doing exactly what it's designed to do um, the way safe I just feel does it a little bit better but this has uh, been a great tow. This is a great hitch. I will. It will absolutely go into my top recommended, my top three or four recommended hitches um, so far. But uh, we'll do, we'll still do the full review, like I mentioned, how it is living with it and all that good stuff. But anyway, I felt I didn't feel good about how I ended the ended the video, so I just wanted to add this part to it. Hope you guys are good. I'll say it again. See ya.